Hi, it's Kevin from YourMakingMe.com. I want to go through how to use the attachments feature in XMind Pro. This is part of the business toolbox, so it isn't going to work with the free version of XMind. You have to have XMind Pro or the XMind subscription. The attachments are really, really cool. There's a couple ways you can do attachments. Uh, really two ways. One is you can drag and drop. Let's say I had a file. I'm going to just grab one. I've got one right here. I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to drop it right onto that. Boom. The first time you do it, you go, you'll go you get a pop-up box like this. and It's going to say, how do you want to do it? Do you want to link it? By linking it means you're just pointing to that file. There are benefits and drawbacks of, of that. The benefit is that if that file ever changes, because you're only linked to it, you're going to be okay. So you're going to see all the updates. The downside is if you, if you try and share the file or if you try and move something around, move the file around, you're going to lose that link. The other option is you can copy it, which means you're actually going to copy it right into XMind, which is great because that way if you share it or move something around, everything's always going to be there. The downside is that if now I went ahead and I, I changed the original file, the changes are not going to happen. They won't be applied to the file that's been copied into XMind. It makes sense, but sometimes people don't realize that when they're doing this. So make sure that you understand this before you start dragging and dropping everything known to man into XMind. If there's a particular setup you want, and generally it's probably going to be copy, you can ask to have that decision remembered going forward, and then you're all set up. If you ever choose your mind and you don't want that, you can go into the settings and into the preferences and change it, or you can go into the open attachments window. So it's simple, there's a toolbar shortcut. As far as attachments go, it's a typical paperclip attachment, or you can go into insert attachment. There we go. I'll open it up and you can go ahead and you can choose an, an image or file, whatever else you think you want to put in here. And let's just choose something big. We'll throw it in. Perfect. There you go. Attachments in XMind Pro. Fairly self-explanatory, but really cool. Just one more way to make XMind Pro that much more powerful. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.